Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button so that we can keep on climbing even higher the 1100 ladder. We're currently sitting at 1,113 subscribers. We were at straight 11s earlier, so I really appreciate all of the support. So, I want to talk about the team YCS in Las Vegas. It has wrapped up, and ha <laughs> ha, do you know what won? Can you guess what won? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, yeah, Cash Tiro won the fucking event. <laughs> Bruh. So here's the thing. Keep in mind that this is a team YCS. So like one player on the team could just be sucking ass the whole event and get carried by his two teammates. So yeah, take that for what you will. So I want to go ahead and go over the top deck breakdowns because this is really interesting. Keep in mind, this is the first YCS technically in air quotes of the new format. So even though it was a team event, do keep that in mind. It's still interesting to see the data that's coming out of this event. So starting off with the top eight, we have 11 Cash Tira, seven Branded, five of which were Despia, two of which were Bysteel, four Labyrinth, fuck that deck, I hate that deck, one Live Twin Sprite, and one Tenny Sword Soul, which works out to 46% Cash Tira, 4% Sword Soul, 4% Live Twin, 17% Labyrinth, and 29% Branded. So what I'm gathering just from this top eight is that Kashtira and Branded are the best decks of the format, and Labyrinth is a close third. Now, obviously, that could work out differently if it's like a regular YCS, but Labyrinth is the new age Eldritch, ladies and gentlemen. Like, the fact that this deck can just set an Eradicator Epidemic fucking virus from the deck and activate it that turn and just tell you to go screw yourself. I don't want to get this video demonetized <laughs> if I go too hard in the paint. Um... Yeah, the, the Labyrinth deck is just disgusting. And Live Twin Sprite, does this mean that we're going to see Live Twin Sprite come back as the Sprite variant? And one Tenyi Sword Soul, which is like, how the fuck is this deck still even a thing? Then we move on to top four. 50% is Cash Tira. Tier 0, anybody. Don't worry. We're, it's it's not Tier 0. Relax your anus. It usually has to be the over 50% for it to be Tier 0. And also, too... I feel like that's kind of not doing the deck justice because it's three against three in a team YCS. So that you could argue that that already increases the representation just by that logic. So I'm holding my reservations for that. And then we got 8.3% Sword Soul, which worked out to still the one Sword Soul, the one Live Twin Sprite, one Labyrinth. So 8.3 and 8.3 and then 25% Branded because it was three Branded, two Despia, one by steel and then the finals was team jesus these fucking names team back for seconds all playing cash tira <laughs> against two world champs and john well john really got screwed out of that didn't he um one player was playing labyrinth the other two were playing branded and team back for seconds ended up winning so cash tira ended up winning the entire event but uh, I'm assuming Ryan or maybe maybe this John guy. I don't fucking know. One of these dudes, <laughs> I guess, got carried to the finals. I, I think the Team YCS thing is just so idiotic because, like I said, one person could be just sucking a big old pile of booty booty butt cheeks all day and he gets carried by his two world champ teammates, I guess, and, and does well. I'm not knocking on any of these guys. I just I think the whole Team YCS concept is just so idiotic. Um, but besides that... You could say Labyrinth technically made it to the finals and maybe lost to Cash Tira. I don't know. I'm not going to look up all these individual duels to see who did what. Um, I don't got no time for that. But it is interesting to see what decks these players are choosing to play. You know, we kind of already knew going into this YCS, like Cash Tira and Branded were going to probably be the best decks in the room. Just because of the fact that, like, Branded has got no hits at all. Like, they've got three of everything, and they've only gotten more support. Labyrinth is a trap deck, so, like, anyone that doesn't want to play massive combo strategies can just roll on in with Labyrinth and see success. And Sword Soul is still at full power. They can play things like Rivalry of Warlords and just sit there and say, Hey, bro, you going to finish that pizza? Because if not, I'm going to kick your ass. So, you know, it's... It's still good. And then you have Live Twin Sprite because Live Twin Sprite, we actually saw when Sprite first came out, we saw people messing around with the Live Twin engine because it can just help you OTK so well. And I feel like with the loss of 
a Sprite Elf, it makes sense to go with the Live Twin package because they are level twos, and then of course Link Twos by extension. So you still get that level two, rank two, Link Two uh, shenanigans that you're able to do, and you know drop out your Sprite Blues since you have a level two on the board, and you know just go hard in the paint. So what do I think overall about this YCS? It really doesn't surprise me that. Um, Cash Tier 1. It doesn't surprise me to see Branded at the top. The fact that we're not seeing any tier element, I feel like that's going to require more people messing around with the deck for a longer period of time. It's going to be interesting to see what happens at the upcoming regionals this weekend to see if we see any variations with that. Um, because I think we don't even have another YCS now till like March or April, which is the 250th. So, guys, let me know what you think about these results. There are no deck lists out yet. Um, I don't really think I'm going to like be posting a bunch of deck lists because I feel like if you've seen one cash tier list, you've seen them all. You know, it just depends if you want to play the adventure package or not. And branded is branded. I mean, you play three branded fusion and then any kind of little, I guess, sub engine you want, you're off to the races. So, but still something interesting to keep in mind as you move forward, especially if you're going to be competitive this format. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.